The nerves of the brain and the spinal cord cannot regenerate spontaneously after injury, and that's not because they can't regrow, but rather because they, after injury, there is an inhibitory environment that actively stops them from regrowing. So there are molecules when they, in the damaged nervous system after injury, which actively stop nerves from spontaneously regrowing. We know that some of these inhibitory molecules are present in what is called the myelin sheath. Now, in the intact nervous system, the myelin sheath acts as an insulator around nerves and allows the messages to pass down nerves very quickly. When myelin is damaged and you have myelin debris at the injury site, then the molecules that are normally within that membrane are now exposed to the nerve that is trying to regenerate. Now, what we've done in the lab is we've identified one of those inhibitory molecules, a molecule called MIG, myelin-associated glycoprotein. What we focus on is using MIG as an example of how a nerve responds to an inhibitory molecule. If we elevate a molecule which is found in every cell in the body, it's a molecule called cyclic AMP, we can overcome all the inhibitors that are present in myelin. The biggest progress will be with acute injury, if the treatment is immediately after an injury, before um, all the secondary damage takes place. My lab works on the basic aspects of why axons, nerves, don't regrow. Identify the molecules, identify what signaling they're telling the nerve to stop growing, and as I said, trying to encourage them to grow, try to identify agents that will encourage them to grow. Now, we do very simple models of spinal cord injury in my lab. There are other labs across the country that specialize in mimicking what the most common type of injury is in humans, and it's called a contusion injury. And a contusion injury really means it's the spinal cord is squashed. So you get a hole at the, at the site of injury, a swelling, and they mimic that in animals. So we collaborate with these different labs across the country. In spinal cord injury, in a contusion injury model, not only do you get severed axons, severed nerves, but you also get demyelination. You lose the insulation. And that can cause, like an electrical cord, if you lose the insulation, can cause cross-circuiting, and eventually the nerves stop functioning. So the idea is, can we remyelinate those nerves and get them to work again? That might restore some function, and in animal models that has shown to be the case.